So, hello guys, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel. This is Shubham Bharadwaj and today we are going to discuss an another Salesforce Summer 20 update. So, in this video, we are going to understand that update within with an example. As always, I already told you, like the best learning to understand a tool is scenarios. So basically, we are going to create a scenario today. So without any delay, let's move back to the computer screen. So for that, what we have to do, we have to create a new flow. So simply clear, move to the quick find and type flows and simply you will see this kind of interface and in that kind of interface, you have to simply click on new flow. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to create a screen flow over there and click on screen flow and click create. After that, you will see our flow builder. So on our flow builder, basically what we have to do, I will explain you the scenario. So the scenario is simple guys, uh, like as you see on this is an account object. So there is a quick action over there. When we click on that quick action, let's say I'm going to create a quick action, create opportunity over there. So that create opportunity quick action, what it will do, it will create an opportunity and basically relate to the uh, respective account. Uh, we are going to apply that uh, quick action and uh, the annual revenue of the account will be transferred into the uh, opportunity amount field. So uh, we are going to do this with a sim simple uh, record variable like we don't need to create a user get element over there. So let's move to the flow and see what I am talking about because the things will be clear when we are going to see the demo. So let's move back to the flow builder and after that what we have to do we have to simply drag and drop a screen flow over there and after that we have to provide a label to our screen and let's say screen one and api name will be auto populated after that uh, we have to simply provide a, a text field over there so drag and drop a text screen component over there so and we have to provide a label of, of the of our text so let's say opportunity name and api name will be auto populated and it is a required field so make it require and now what we have to do we have to simply provide a close date so we have to provide a date over there so click on date and drag and drop simply provide a label and it, it, it is also a required field on opportunity so make it require now what we have to do we have to simply drag in another screen component and which is our stage so oh, and the stage is a pick list so we are going to use a pick list screen component over there so simply drag and drop a screen component over there which is pick list and in pick list provide a label let's say and in stage name basically in stage name what we have to do we have to simply provide a choice over there simply let's cl click on new resource and in the new resource you have to select pick list choice set and provide an API name of pick list choice set let's say stage name and okay stage name is spelling so now what we have to do we have to provide an ob object over there let's say opportunity opportunity is object and select opportunity over there and after that what you have to do select a data type let's say pick list and we have to select an opportunity a field so basically it's a stage name and click done so as you see stage name very uh, api name will be already uh, over there on stage choice uh, stage pick list so after that what we have to do we have to simply so simply what we have to do we have to click on our screen and basically i don't want a pause or previous button on my very first screen so let's remove them so for that what you have to do you have to simply go on control navigation and deselect previous and pause it's complete click done now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a opportunity record over there and let's say create opportunity and also api name will be auto populated i'm going to create a single opportunity so i'll select uh, one over there and if you want to use all values from a record so you can use uh, all but I'm going to use uh, specific fields over there so I'm going to use separate resources and here you have to select opportunity 
because they, uh, the uh, object we are going to create is opportunity so select opportunity over there and in the fields we have to provide the fields we are going to uh, use on that opportunity object so basically we are, what we are going to do we are going to provide uh, account id over there so for account id what we have to do we have to create a resource over there so now the updates comes in earlier days what we have to do we are going to create a record id over there uh, but the data type of that variable is text but now uh, in the upcoming update what we are going to use the data type of that variable is simple uh, record uh, its record so simply select variable over there and in api name you have to provide a uh, api name similar to this name like record is in small caps then capital i and then small d this is the standard one you have to use that and in data type what you have to do you have to select you have to simply select record over there and you have to basically select an object so we are going to relate that opportunity to the account so we have to select here account so select account over there and as this record id will going to start our salesforce flow so basically what we are going to do we are going to use available for input uh, whenever a particular id or variable start your flow so you have to use a uh, input over there so simply select available for input and click click done and as you see there is a record id variable auto populated over value now simply okay so the record id is a variable now what we are going to do uh, it's a record uh, it's a record variable and we have to select that id of that record so simply uh, with the dot notation click uh, provide a dot over there and select id over there so yeah it's okay now so now what we have to do we have to simply add uh, another field as i already already told you we have to uh, we have to provide annual revenue of account in the field of opportunity amount so in the amount field of opportunity what i am going to do i am going to again select a record id and then annual revenue so so here is the update guys like uh, as you see uh, the benefit of using a record id as a, a record variable or data type as record so the benefit of using record for that record id variable is simple uh, here i can fetch annual revenue to from that account record but if i am using uh, this as text i am not able to use that record id uh, to fetch the annual revenue over there okay so this is the difference why i am using record variable so now if i have to use that i have to uh, get an uh, i have to use an another element which is get element and then i have to filter out my account on the basis of that text id which is record id if i am using a text variable instead of a record variable so that's the reason i am using a record variable over there and it's a new update now what we have to do we have to simply provide our screen fields over there and what are these fields basically opportunity name and stage name and close date and we have to basically map our fields let's say stage name with name stage stage name with stage name and close date with date and what we have to do we have to simply click done and simply connect the dots now what we have to do we have to simply show an another screen to the user that account is created so for that what we have to do we have to provide a label to the screen too and let's say screen to is the name of our label and after that what we have to provide is display text so in display text what i'm going to use we have to provide a name let's say my text and here opportunity is created and opportunity is created with amount as annual revenue and simply click done so if i want to 
if i want to if i don't want to show that pause button simply go to control navigation and simply deselect this and simply click done and you can again connect the dots and you can simply save your flow now you have to provide a flow label so simply provide let's say create opportunity and flow api name will be auto populated and click save now what you have to do you have to simply activate your flow and now move back to the setup and click on object manager and go to account as i am already in account object so i have to click on button links and action as we are going to create a quick action over there and we have to create a new action over there and here we have to select flow and in the flow we are having create opportunity already we have to provide a, a label so i am going to use a label like opportunity by flow or uh, guys my naming is really bad you can use uh, good names for your flow so now what you have to do you have to simply save your opportunity flow now what you have to do you have to simply go to your page layouts because we have to add that particular quick action on our page layout of account so let's move to the account layout and go to the mobile and lightning actions and select here porch so as you see here opportunity by flow is a quick action we already created and simply drag and drop to the mobile and lightning action okay so let's select again and yeah as you see opportunity by flow and simply quick save Now let's move back to the account and refresh the screen. So as you see, uh, we are having a button opportunity by flow. So before move, creating an opportunity, I will let you know that I am having a only single opportunity over there. So let's move to the opportunity by flow. And let me tell you another thing. As you see, the annual revenue is really big. So this annual revenue will be transferred to the amount of our opportunity and we are not filling that opportunity amount we are only filling three details over there so simply click on opportunity by flow and provide uh, provide an opportunity name so let's say salesforce geek provide a close date let's say 31 and let's say negotiation slash review is our stage name so and click next so as you see, hurry opportunity is created with amount as annual revenue and click finish. So now, now if we move back to the related tab and uh, there is a opportunity named by Salesforce geek over there and and here you will see, let's open it. You will see account name is pyramid constructions and amount is this much and this is the same amount you will see in the account annual revenue. So that's how you can use an, a new update record variable uh, which is which is a record ID standard record ID and basically the change the update is change of that data type of that record ID variable. So that's how you can uh, use that record ID variable in your Salesforce scenarios and guys if you like this video. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos. Uh, I will be focusing more, more and more on flows and creating a lot of scenarios in the upcoming days. And I am also going to start a new series uh, which is for flows from basic. So uh, because lots of trailblazers asking me for to create a series or videos regarding uh, flows from basic. So it's okay uh, as audience demand uh, for a video. So I will create some videos for the basic of flows so yeah if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much if you're watching this video till now